Hey folks, uh, Chris here again, also known as the real C Mac on uh, ECF Vapotron, Whacked Out Canada, everywhere else. Uh, not doing a review today. Today, what we're going to do is go over how to update your EVIC. Uh, I've noticed uh, a few people having issues. <clears throat> not sure how to do it. Uh, it. They do tell you, but it's not really uh, clearly uh, clearly mapped out. So uh, what we're going to do is go to the uh, Joytech website right off the bat. Okay, uh, so here we have the Joytech website. Uh, on the bottom left here, you're going to see uh, version 1.1 new release. Uh, now this is assuming you do have the Joytech MVR software already installed, so if you don't, go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to hit download product. Bottom left hand, we got eBIC firmware. Uh, select the 1.1, and then go to uh, download here. Now it's going to prompt you to download it to a location. I say desktop is easiest, uh, just so you can find it. Hit save. I've already done that, so I'm just going to back out here. It's going to come in a rare file like that. Uh, just right click on that and extract to eVic. Uh, easiest way to do it. Then it just pops up a file here for you. Uh, now this code here, it's a .bin file. That's what you're going to want to transfer to your hex file. Alright, to do that, you're going to go to the start button there. I am on Windows 7, I should mention. Uh, I'm going to go to computer. Alright, so we're in our local disk here, our C drive. Uh, then we're going to hit program files. Okay. And now we're going to go to my vapor record. Alright, and here's the hex file. Now you're going to want to open that. It should be blank at this point if you're just installing the 1.1 version software. Uh, so I have code in here because I've already transferred this. But if you haven't, what you're going to want to do is go to your uh, downloaded folder, okay, with the code in it. Now I'm going to double click. No, I'm apparently going to drag. Uh, double click, drag it down to the folder. I'm going to move that over. Oh, I'm going to move that over to the hex file. Alright, and then I'll just drop it in the hex file. Alright, I've already done that, so I don't have to do it, but you would just drop it in there. And that's it. Uh, plug your EVIC in. Your MBR software should pop up. And just hit the uh, update uh, firmware button. You'll see a little progress bar. And you're good to go. That will install the version 1.1 firmware onto your EVIC. Uh, so I hope that hope helps out to some people anyways. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, I should have my EVIC review out uh, next week with any luck. Uh, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks.